All right. I'm going to do a little cleanup here. I personally like to let this dry for at least 24 hours, which I have. Um, let the fibers, the wood fibers, actually dry out. Um, that's been my biggest problem with this stuff is all the ash getting into the wood and darkening, dyeing the wood, and then you're bleaching, which I use bleach. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. instead of the uh, steel seems like it's got that good it's it's hard enough but not too hard and a, a steel bristles I feel, feel would scratch the wood itself kind of giving me more work to, to clean up so this is seemed to me it's been a pretty good go of with, with it so now I hit it with a little sandpaper before I get it wet still um, trying to keep as little of uh, moisture is going to let things soak in to me so I try to keep the moisture off until I'm ready to really clean it up so let's see what happens So, I use a little half bleach, half water mixture, I'm not too scientific about it. Today I might end up putting a little more bleach than water. And, I like to put the bleach in, bleach water mixture in, kind of let it soak in for a few minutes. So we're going to do a little cleanup now, a little fresh water, um, clean up the surface. Um, this is poplar by the way, uh, it's probably my favorite wood to burn. I just like the way it, uh, it reacts and veins out, has some, uh, some pretty cool effects. I've done some other woods, um, uh, maple is another really good wood I like to do, um, it's a real hard wood. Um, 
it done it's a lot smaller veining uh, done some cedar it uh, it doesn't vein out as well yeah cedar has a fairly high moisture content I work a lot with it uh, make a lot of and around deck chairs outdoor furniture uh, it's fun to burn um, it's just it reacts a lot differently than uh, the poplar here tends to want to run uh, with the grain go, uh, burn real fast so uh, I'm gonna grab a rag now and uh, dry this off clean up the water a bit get ready to uh, use the heat gun I like to use the heat gun to uh, dry the piece of wood off. Uh, I'm trying to get it as dry as quickly as I can. I, I feel that the, the quicker I can dry the wood, the, the less the water can soak in. So that's my thought behind that. cool stuff to me at least I mean I like the big stuff I like to burn it deep depends on what I'm burning this just being a piece of wood all right guys so here's the piece all polyed up it's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of applications for this. I, uh, it's kind of cool just to burn the wood at first, but then you kind of want to try to start finding some different applications for it. So this is a little uh, Punisher head I made. Uh, I'm just showing you because I did a little burning on it. Just kind of goes along with the theme, I think. I uh, like burning the, the entire piece. Uh, all the edges, inside the eye, the back side, you can just kind of pick it up and check out the whole thing. So that's a lot of fun. Didn't take too long to do. Just kind of have it up on my wall in the workshop here. So, what to do with a piece after you burned a piece of wood? I frame it and put it on the wall in the house. Um, everybody seems to like them, anybody sees them, you know, they always, oh, that's pretty cool, or how'd you do that? And so we kind of get into that conversation. So it's a lot of fun. See some detail there. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, this is kind of my uh, second half of my first video, so I'm uh, it'll hopefully get better. I'm going to be doing some word working projects, so uh, stay tuned, and... Uh, do a little bit of a little bit of something everything thanks for watching